Okay, so for our 476 project, we made a wirelessly programmable digital pace clock for swimming training. It has a Bluetooth connection to an Android phone uh, where you can configure swimming routines and uh, control the operation of the clock. Uh, here's some routines. For example, this is a swimming workout. Um, it has intervals that you can time, it has loops, it has jump instructions. Um, and you upload this to the microcontroller, controlling this large LED display over Bluetooth. Um, and then you can control the operation and parsing through this compact instruction set that we wrote um, to control the operation. So here we've hit power. It's prompting us for which routine we want to run. Um, there's a number of extra instructions, like a clock, and you can schedule when you want a workout to start. Um, you can cycle through the routines. Four, for example, is a five second count up and then a screen demo. It's very bright. Three is a six second count down and then a millisecond timer. It's a lot of fun to use. You can hit play and pause. It's very responsive. Tell me, tell me a little bit about the uh, scheduling functions on the Android side. Uh, so basically, the, fe the Paul already talked about the remote control feature, which basically as a, as a remote control with six buttons. Um, when you go into a routine, you're able to um, insert a t either a timing event or an instruction. A timing event allows you to ca count either up or down um, in, the, in your desired number of minutes and seconds and a little training message, which will be displayed along with the instruction. And it will look like this. And um, you're able to long press on, a, on an instruction. Um, on a timing event to edit, it will be pre-populated with all the fields that you previously entered, and it will be inserted back into the same place. You can also, sh by short short touching um, the instruction, all of the instructions are you're able to um, move up or move down, or even delete in place. And you support two levels of loops, right? Yes. So you can have a. a, a you can have any number of inner loops you <coughs> wish inside an outer loop. Um, the only caveat is that you cannot have any loop inside an inner loop. Gotcha. Very nice. So you have a flexible timing system, wireless, and uh, it's easy to see a coach uh, standing by a pool using this. Yep. Thank you.